What's up guys, um, in this icy video, what I'm going to be doing is actually showing my sensitivity. So we're actually on my smurf account right now and I'm going to just pretty much go over what my sensitivity is and my bun layout. And afterwards, we're going to pretty much just sh be showing like some solo duo clips and some, um, and some arena clips. Any stuff that you came for. Here's my button layout. All right, I have two back buttons on my controller. So my two back buttons is pretty much my crouch and my jump. With my crouch being on my left middle finger and jump being on my right. Um, because of this, I don't have to move my thumb off of the right stick to jump or crouch. Uh, triangle square etc um, this is actually call of duty wise i used to do this when i was playing call of duty a lot i preferred my aim down and my attack on my l1 and r1 buttons because to me it feels like it's a faster um reaction time and i'm a habit to the point where i prefer that on every uh competitive game now Tactical ability is on L2. That is orange because I switched from the default. Uh, ping wheel is on my D is on my down uh, D pad button because I actually prefer my to be on my R2. Because to me, um, I can actually switch much easier, especially if I'm playing somebody like Fuse. Well, I'm going to be using grenades a lot. It's really easy to switch. Oh, I... There we go. Oh, Jesus. But you get the point. It's much comfortable to me. Now, it might not be comfortable to you, but um, work with what you best at. I actually just started recently doing this. So... I'm still kind of faulty on the ultimate abilities right now because I will still, if I'm in, if I'm fighting right now, I will actually still click my R, my L2 and my R2 at the same time. And I have to remind myself it's um, L2 and down, down D pad. Let's see. Now, button uh, stick layout is default. I don't really mess with this because I don't like anything else other than default. In the reaction button, I have on tap to use and hold to reload because uh, in that early game skirmishes, I just need nothing but s squares. I shouldn't. I, I don't need to hold it pretty much. And the only time uh, I do have to hold my square button is to reload my gun or to res a teammate. So I feel like that's um worth it. It's a good change. Crash plan is on hold is because I can pretty much do this now, which you don't know what it is. You pretty much spam crouching. This is a technical advantage. I'm sure everybody heard by now. Um. Even though it's not used as much now, to actually come back on um, spam crouching, but it's still just as good as an option. Uh, aim buttons on hold. I don't like toggling it because that's too much. Um, it kind of disturbs my flow, pretty much. Survival spot. If you don't know what this is, it's an extra um, storage spot for heat shields and mobile respawn so I suggest you have that on and makes it easier if you're in a pinch um my L2 and R2 dead zones are default I don't really mess with that me and cursor didn't really mess with that and you see how all this is pretty much grayed out is because I have LC settings enabled but I have my movement dead zone large inverted look off i hate inverted uh vibration is also off 
because that can mess with your aiming and your um pretty much how you aim the lse is um 16 percent for dead zone two percent out of threshold and 10 for responsive curve do not ask me what this means i have no idea but when i had stick drift i put i was just messing around till pretty much didn't have any more stick drift and before i actually fixed my controller in real life um these worked for me and i still have it on just because per optics ads sensitivity this is optional because um you can either use the ADS setting for all optics, but I prefer to keep this on and I actually have, um, you know, a, it's increasing the more, the higher the optic is. Starting with 0 0.8, which is relatively compared to the one, which is 2X, and it just gradually goes up by two every, um, every other optic. So pretty much, Pitching y'all, my yaw speed is maxed out. So pretty much the reason I had it maxed out and the pitch is only like, I wanna say a third of that is because I should be able to do a 180 pretty much. Do a 180, turn around if I need to. And then uh, I have zero extra turning y'all extra turning pitch zero don't need it uh ramp up time is 35 percent which is default and if i'm not mistaken delay i thought that was default but apparently it's not it's um 25 percent for me ads is way slower this is so when i snap on people i can kind of control where i'm looking at and not panic but if you must know it's pretty much one above default for my y'all and i want to say two up for my pitch which is reasonable uh extra y'all is 20 extra pitch is 30 zero percent ramp up time and 25 percent delay all right and target compensation what this is is pretty much aim assist for controllers um now you can disable it if you want um all all the uh aim assist does it just slows down your movement slows down your right stick when you go over an enemy but i actually changed mine um which it was on default this is a default right here style um but I actually make my PC so it's the same value on PC. Melee um, target composition is pretty much um, it helps you kind of with melee. I really don't see a difference too much. I still be missing my melee shots, but I keep it on just in case. And that's pretty much all my settings and my fun layout. So right now I'm a pretty much. Play some clips for you guys when I'm playing solo duo or some arenas. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, insightful video, and remember to stay icy and always improve. Baby, this is do or die. Feel it in my veins tonight. Emotional suicide. You know it's a knife for I, I didn't